One of the perks of being married to a black woman is that that Kool-Aid stay on point. So I was going to do an Earth Day video, but laziness and the fact that all that information that I was finding is utterly depressing made me change my mind. So I'm going to do this video instead. Earlier this week, Attack on Titan's live action movie trailer came out and it's fucking awesome. guys know this but I'm a little bit of a nerd and like most nerds I fucking love anime basically finished Attack on Titan just me and Netflix marathoning together like we normally do although I did have a difficult time from episode one to about five because Aaron can be a whiny little bitch but he grew on me and of course Mikasa is just fucking needless to say my nipples are pretty excited about this movie coming out. I've done a couple of videos about police brutality and the fact that American law enforcement just doesn't know how to handle themselves when it comes to civilians anymore. But of course I have Swedish friends who always tell me that they love black people, they love gay people, and they love women. So why don't me and my wife just move over there and live a happy, prosperous life? Where we don't have to run away from police officers because they might shoot us or strangle us to death. And I always joke and I'm like, hey, you guys can't be that great. I mean, your prison systems are awesome and your education is kind of first rate, but I mean, come on. Cops being better for black people in Sweden? Come on. And then this video came out. What what up? Everybody wait for the police, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Please, let me talk to you. Everybody comes Please. Sorry, let's take it easy. We'll yeah. solve this later, all right? I mean, it almost brought me to tears. And then when the dude was there and he was like, I can't pay! Take it easy! I can't pay! The fucking cop rubs his back, consoling him so he can calm down. Sir, calm down. Okay? Everything will be okay. Just relax, okay? Mike, Mike, I'm not riding train with you no more. Okay, sir? Right here, right here, right here. Sir, are you injured anywhere? No. Are you injured? No. Okay. Like, that seems like such a foreign concept. I don't even, I can't even fathom an American police officer consoling anyone who was in the middle of a fight. This shit was beautiful. Uh, I'm not really a big person on popular music. When I'm in my car and I'm driving, my radio is permanently set on NPR. If I do hear any new music, either it's because my brother sends me some shit or I'm on SoundCloud and I just randomly stumble upon some people. One of the happiest accidents I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing was stumbling upon this wonderful songstress named Alina Baraz. And I hope I'm saying that name right. If I told you, I could hear this woman is basically like, it's like having silk wrapped around your brain and just massaged in, in such a beautiful, serene way that you just fall in love with the planet more than you should. She has the kind of voice, like, if I could, if, uh, I wish her voice was a person so that I can lick it. Like, that's how awesome her music is. She's an amazing songwriter. She has an amazing voice. The people that she works with to produce this music is fucking awesome. I would suggest everyone go to iTunes. I don't even pump Apple like that. But go to goddamn iTunes because that's the only place you can throw your money at this woman because she is fucking amazing and you need to do that like now. So those are a few of my favorite things that I came across this week. Feel free to like, 
and subscribe to my channel. If that, that's cool too. That's cool. You know, it'll just be me and my Kool-Aid hanging out together alone without any subscribers. Channel all lonely and shit. All 142 of us. Meh.